Okay, I have another tag for you guys. I hope you are ready. Sorry. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another tag video and I'm so excited for this one. This is the collection tag by Georgia Harris. That girl is amazing and I, I'm i a little unsure if she is still doing videos. I think she was doing some... Yeah, she has been on and off. I, I, I don't remember if she stopped or not or just taking a break on YouTube. I believe she still has some videos up. You should definitely check her out. She is amazing and she is making such a good content on her YouTube channel, if you can. You can't say that. She is making great content on her YouTube channel and she is beautiful and amazing and you should definitely check her out. So yeah, she did the makeup collection tag and I am going to do it as well. I saw a bunch of other people do it. I'm not tagged because I'm not that person, but I really wanted to do it anyway and I hopefully I'm not late to the game. A little bit maybe. There are 14 questions and um, let me just get started because otherwise this will be very very long. How long have you been collecting makeup? I have been wearing makeup since 6th grade so I was like 13. And then it was only mascara and eyeliner and then I upgraded in 8 grade and then in 10th grade when I was like 17 ish 16 17 and then I started watching YouTube and then you can maybe tell where it went wrong <laughs> so I guess since I was like 17 that was when I started you watching YouTube when I was 17 and I'm 24 now so that's four. Okay, that's not really a long time. That's bad. I'm not calling myself a collector because I do use my makeup up. I have a totally different collection now than I did when I was 17. I obviously have uh, eight times more makeup now than I did then, but, but I don't have the same makeup. So that's a good sign. What kind of collection do you have? Minimal? No. Utilitarian, ut ut utilitarian, aesthetic, historical, etc. I definitely ha don't have a minimal collection. I actually don't know. Utilitarian. Is this re not realistic, but it's not overflowing and overwhelming? Okay, I actually have a hard time answering that question of what kind of collection I have because I don't have a high-end collection because I don't own a lot of high-end. I have mostly used up the high-end stuff. I gravitate towards drugstore makeup and okay not really. Uh, I have gone away from the drugstore and more, more indie brands now. Um, I do have some pretty makeup. I do have some pretty packaging so aesthetic Aesthetic might be a good word and but I also think that I have what I, I need so utilitarian or whatever you however you say that word I think that too because Google Translate says designed to be useful or practical rather than attractive so I think it is a mixture of utilitarian whatever you say that and aesthetic. Cheap, maybe. I have a nice makeup collection. It's not the most valuable. Valuable. Are you a complete, a completionist? Completionist. I'm sorry. I'm not English. I'm not native English speaking. I'm Danish. So, complete. Completionist. 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 I think I am a completionist in my W7 makeup cardboard packaging palettes because I have them all. And even though there are a few in that collection or line that I don't really like, I 
have no intention of decluttering them. So I only think that I'm a completionist in that way. Otherwise, not really. I don't need every single shade in a lipstick range. I don't need every single uh, single eyeshadow for my brand. I, I, I just don't need it all. Eyeshadows are my weak point in makeup. So I have a lot of eyeshadows. And yeah, the only thing that, that I want to complete is the eyeshadow palettes from W7 in the cardboard packaging because I don't like the tin packaging and I, I'm only interested in that so I have them all in that way so. How do you store or organize your collection? I will insert some clips but I have my Alex 9 drawer and I have some acrylic organizers thingy that I have on my everyday makeup desk and inside my Alex drawer I have some old goodie box uh, glossy box boxes that I separate the drawers into and that's it and maybe some plastic baskets from the drugstore or supermarket or whatever you want to call it so that is how I I'm go I'm storing it uh, at the moment I'm not happy about it but that is uh, how it's working um, at some point I want to have some more individual separately drawers thingy but for now it's working not entirely happy but it's working what is your favorite thing about your collection my eyeshadows definitely my eyeshadow palettes i love them so much even though there are a few i don't like i just love eyeshadows so much i really like lipsticks lipsticks as well but eyeshadows there's just something about putting them on your eye and creating dimension and colors and and the shininess. Mm, I love it. And highlighters is something I love putting on as well. But eyeshadows, I feel naked without it. What is your least favorite thing about or something to improve your collection? I hate, hate, hate doing my eyebrows. I don't like it i don't find it pleasing i don't like it i just don't like it um and what to improve in my collection i need to improve and i need to accept and realize that i don't want to have foundation in my collection i'm so used to applying foundation and having foundation in my collection that I just can't help but buy one when I find one in my shade or um, when I run out of the lightest shades that I need to go hunt for a new one. When I have spot concealed and concealed, I'm fine. I don't need foundation and I need to improve on that point and I need to improve that I don't need as much eye primer. I don't need eyebrow products because Okay, maybe eyebrow gel, but I don't need any eyebrow products because I just don't like the pencils. I don't need eyebrow powder because I can just use eyeshadows because I have so much. <laughs> I have so many palettes with a decent brown in it that I don't... I have uh, eyeshadows in my brows right now, so I, I don't need a pencil for that. I'm so sorry, my leg is hurting so bad. Okay. Um, what is the biggest category of your collection? If you count the individual eyeshadow pan as a product, the eyeshadow category is definitely the biggest. But if you take a palette as a palette, um, and you know a highlighter as a highlighter, a highlighter is the biggest, or maybe it is lipsticks. If you take lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and lip gloss in one category i think that is the biggest okay lip products highlighters and eyeshadows are three categories that are the biggest what is the smallest category of your collection eyebrow gel i only have one eyeshadow primer i have four uh, glitter glues i have two uh, a, ba a, nail, a nail polish base coat i have one <laughs> Gel eyeliners, I have one. Maybe I can look back on my inventory and write it here because on top of my head, I can't remember. Do you have a holy grail in your collection? 
Um, I guess that is a no. <laughs> I, I don't think I have a holy grail in my collection, but I was just thinking that I did the If I Could Only Keep One tag by Kelly Goosh. And in that video, I take one product from each category and some of them are my favorite. So I think in that video, I can answer this question because I really don't know. Do you ever wish your collection was bigger, smaller or is it complete? I don't wish it to be bigger because I'm a pretty planner and it takes forever and ever and ever and ever to go through a product. Smaller, yes. I have an idea in my head. This is my fantasy self. Having a makeup bag with products but the makeup junkie and makeup freak and addict in me really want the collection that I have right now and maybe better quality because some of the products that I have is not as good quality and I really want a, a collection with good quality makeup. How often do you declutter your makeup in your collection? Okay, uh, this month or last month I decluttered a few items and this month I have already decluttered a few items so I declutter here and there on a monthly basis. I have done one huge declutter at, at once and I have that on my channel. I don't think I will do that again. The, I did it because I had so much makeup that I didn't like and I thought let me push myself a little bit so I made a series out of it and now I just share my declutters in my project planning updates or in my empties overall every month. Do you ever get envious envious seeing other people's makeup collections? Um, when I just started watching YouTube, makeup collection videos were so hyped and so in. And that is why I wanted the Alex drawer for my makeup because I thought it was amazing. It's not. It's not. You can't reach the back of the drawer. But it's it's a good size. So I really like it for that. But I don't get envious. I maybe get envious of certain products. But not collection overall of the size or anything. Okay, the next question is who on YouTube has the best makeup, colle makeup collection video? Amber F, she did this tag and she talked about how she thinks people doing a makeup collection videos get bored by the end of the video or in the middle, you know? They're really excited in the intro and then it gradually gets worse and then it gets to the outro and they are all excited again and I can agree with that. So I don't really watch makeup collection videos anymore because of that. Even the YouTuber is bored by the video. So that is why people don't do them anymore. At some point they were really exciting and I didn't notice the same stuff that I do now. But Angelica Newquist, Newquist. She did one recently and I thought that was a really really nice collection video because she kept the same energy and excitement throughout the whole video and it didn't get boring, boring or anything like that. So I think so far to this day that I can remember it is Angelica. What's some advice you would give to a future makeup collector? Don't be a collector because you want all the makeup. You should buy the makeup that inspires you and that you think is great quality and that can relate and be useful for your aesthetic and makeup style. If you really like neutral eyeshadows, don't buy an all green or blue palette. It would just be stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know what I mean. If you are a neutral lover and a low love a uh, bronzy smoky eye like I have on today, definitely don't go f uh, buy a all colorful palette. You would not enjoy it at all. And if you are a colorful makeup lover, don't buy a neutral palette. You will be bored to death. If you are someone like me that like color and neutrals, you should get a half neutral, half colorful palette. That would be very pleasing to you. And you can also buy a neutral palette and love it and buy a 
colorful palette and love it. So that is my advice. Really be sure of what style you have. If you like bold lippies, don't go for a completely nude one. And other way around, if you don't like wearing a bold color, don't buy that. And just go with your nudes. So that is my advice. Buy the makeup that suits you and your personal style in makeup. Otherwise you will just have it in your collection and at some point you will just declutter it if you're that type of person of course but don't buy it just because other people like it you should be sure if you like it I understand if you have a channel and you want to review it and stuff like that but if you're just a regular person like me I don't review stuff I just don't because my speaking skills are not great um, and I'm a panner so I really like to use up my stuff so I love buying makeup and play with makeup but review it um, I'm not a great reviewer <laughs> I watch other people for that enjoy makeup and uh, enjoy the makeup you have don't buy it just to have it I somewhat did that at some point and that is not good so that's my advice can you see the sun? That is a sign I need to go. It's getting late. That was everything for this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed doing this tag. And I love tags in general. They are so cozy and fun. And this is me trying to talk to you guys. Because I'm not a big talker. Because I have no self confidence in my English. In English I don't always think that I can get my opinion out there. Uh, in the right way uh, or in the way that I wanted to so I don't really do that kind of videos but I really like doing tags and answering questions and get, let you guys get to know me and stuff like that um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like my tags and like me doing tags and stuff like that so it's a little bit of a variety from my pretty pen videos i really like doing something else from time to time so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next video take care